There's no doubt that hollandaise is one of the most difficult sauces to make, but actually there's only two things you have to focus on to succeed. A hollandaise sauce consists only of eggs, lemon and butter, and that's it. First you melt the butter. And then you add some lemon juice to another pot. And both pots are 58 degrees. You add the egg yolks into the lemon juice. And you keep stirring until they get a creamy consistency. It usually takes about two minutes. The lemon and the egg yolks are stirred in one pot and you melt the butter in the other pot. And then the butter is slowly mixed into the egg yolks until you get a nice creamy consistency. And this is called an emulsion. The fat from the butter and the lemon juice is mixed together until a thick creamy consistency. Where most people fail in this recipe is with the egg yolk temperature. The egg yolks must get above 55 degrees for the emulsion to work at all, but it must not exceed 62 degrees, otherwise the egg yolks will solidify and you will end up with scrambled eggs. The egg yolks will typically become too hot because either the pot is too hot or because you pour in butter that is too hot. So if your butter is bubbling when it's melting, then it's 100 degrees, that's far too hot. Just wait for the butter to cool down enough. Ideally, both your butter and your egg yolks should be 58 degrees when you mix them. But the reason you can make a thick sauce from melted butter and lemon juice is because of the magical emulsifying powers of the egg yolk. When you whisk the mixture, the butter turns into small balls or globules. Those balls get covered with egg yolk. The egg yolk then acts as a glue that holds the butter and the lemon juice together. This prevents the sauce from separating into butter and lemon juice when you stop stirring. Below 55 degrees, the egg yolk isn't effective enough to create a stable emulsion though. So for this to work effectively, the mixture needs to be around 55 to 60 degrees. Above approximately 62 to 65 degrees, the egg yolk proteins begins to coagulate or set, causing them to curdle or form lumps. Essentially, you make scrambled eggs. The mixture of lemon juice and butter balls is where the second challenge arises. The amount of lemon juice. If you add too much, the hollandaise will never thicken. You'll get a runny sauce. If you add too little lemon juice or too much lemon juice evaporates while doing the cooking, then the sauce will separate. It will simply turn into a mess of egg yolks, lemon and butter fat. This is the second way a hollandaise can go wrong. It becomes too thick. If there's too little lemon juice, the proteins from the egg yolks will simply not be able to keep the butter globules separated anymore, and it'll melt together. So, if you have just the right amount of lemon juice and you keep the butter and the egg between 55 and 62 degrees, then you'll get a perfect hollandaise. That's why we keep it at 58 degrees. Chefs use a really long time learning how to control temperature. They do that with intuition and experience. They can, for example, turn the heat up and down at the right time, or they can move their pot onto a cold cloth if they sense that it's getting too warm. Others might use a water bath or a thermometer to keep the temperature at 58 degrees. We use stove to keep the temperature of the pots at 58 degrees during the entire process. The sensor in the bottom of the cookware measures the temperature while you cook. The cookware is connected to the induction hub that can set the temperature and where you can maintain it with one degree accuracy. But remember, a split hollandaise can always be rescued. Just wait until the butter fat cools down again, and then you can start over with fresh lemon juice and egg yolks. And if it got so hot that the eggs are curdled, then you just strain out the solidified egg yolks before you reuse the butter.